package of business suite articles I ordered from Malaysia Airlines. And since they only fly this business suite to a couple of locations in the world, meaning like Sydney and London, there's very little chance I'll ever be flying those routes. And I've been locked down for a year, and I was able to buy them on their website, so I got them. So for the surprise of what I'm opening today, I'm making the cocktail of the video, the Barbados surprise. And it's got grenadine, orange juice, rum, and blue carasu, not a C. The net sounds insane. Um, I pre-measured everything because it's a little complicated, but you start off with a half ounce of grenadine, pour that into the center of the bottom, then put in a bunch of ice. And then two or three ounces of orange juice. And then one half ounce of blue carasu and two ounces of rum shaken just a little bit to mix it. Pour it very slowly onto one of the ice cubes. There you go. It sure is pretty, but trust me, mix it up before you drink it. So I went here to the Malaysia Airlines Temptations page. Um, you can scroll down and go to the MH exclusives. And from there, you can see all of the travel amenities and things they have, the pajamas, the duvet, and the business kit. And as I look closer at the business kit, see that none of the uh, travel real amenities are in there like lotions which you will see to my absolute surprise later in the video that I didn't see them um, the total for all three items including shipping was a hundred and four dollars which is a really good deal so after I ordered it it only took about a week for it to arrive they shipped it on DHL which is like the FedEx for the rest of the world and so let's see what's all in here Hey, check it out. It's the package inside of a package. So the first thing I ordered was the business class duvet, which is what you get when you sit in your nice little seat and you lean it back and you want to be warm. And this is mm, about quilt thick, pretty soft, the Malaysia Airlines logo all over it. It's really freaking big. Uh, and this would be great to sleep under too when you're flying their super premium business class. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? This should be the pajamas and the amenity kit. Envy kit, the pajamas. The pajamas come in this really nice bag. It feels like it's a, it's a very thick nylon. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's wrapped up with a really pretty satin bow with the Malaysia Airlines all over it. Snap closed at the top. Oh, oh, oh slippers. Check that out. Sleep mask, cardboard insert, sporty. Oh yeah, yeah, these are these are styling. And while I was unpacking everything, I noticed they also have socks, and these are not they're not super flimsy. I mean, these are actually they're good dress dress sock thickness. Slippers got the logo. Now, 
to the good part, the amenity kit. Yeah, there's a huge pile of plastic next to me. Oh, it's got nice snaps on the side. It says it is from Aspinall of London. It is a nylon bag. Little plastic on the, even the zipper thing. Hmm. And in here we have, oh, look at this, another mask. Yeah, this one's not as nice as the one I'm using right now. Um, the socks, they're black instead of blue, and but they're almost exactly the same quality. That's cool. I got, what do I get in here? What? Okay, a coupon, French cosmetic brand, sticker, but no cosmetics, no, no nothing of the amenity kit, that's odd, a comb, and earplugs. So here is everything that came with it. I honestly think the pajamas were the winner of the entire kit. Uh, kind of wish there'd been some of the in-air amenities like moisturizer, lotion, and stuff in the bag. Uh, I might see if I can get those and add those to the video. But otherwise, yeah, this, this was pretty good. And for the price, not bad at all.